Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome. So glad you're here. Happy Sunday. Sundays are a great day to take a rest if you're not in the day to day grind of things, you know. And for those of us who are studying human design, we get the opportunity to look at transits and see what might the day set up for us and indeed this upcoming week. So let's share my screen so that you can see what I'm looking at as well. Looking at a temporary transit chart, talking about the sun in gate four. And there we go, now we can see it. You can see it's Sunday, August 11th already. My goodness, where did the year go? Sunday, great day, the sun's day, to radiate or not. Now, where is this radiance giving us our energy for the week as well as for the day? First thing we'll talk about is what is the fourth gate? Fourth gate, second of the gates that are in the quarter of the wheel, purpose fulfilled through bonding, we're in the quarter of duality, we're in the Godhead that is about Thoth, which is wisdom of uh, knowledge and writing, and I believe time. Yeah, time is another thing. So let's talk about time, because that's the repeating pattern that I find for today when we think about the transits. First line is always about time, and today's a first line day. On first line days, it's a great day to study, to maybe potentially prepare for the week ahead. So we're all being conditioned to be very logical about where things are going. This is a logical activation. It's in the Ajna center. So if your Ajna center is already defined because you have a channel there, you might find that you really have a lot more energy to focus on things that are logical. And if you've got the 63 on the other side in the head center pointing down at this Ajna in the logic, you're going to experience a temporary conditioning of this design of mental ease mixed with doubt that's your doubt and the sun is maybe bringing in some answers but timing is everything when it comes to giving answers the gate of answers do youthful folly so let's go and read that particularly the first line being about pleasure the pleasure of having an answer isn't it true that all of us want to find the right answers we're always looking for is it this answer is it that answer weighing the pros and cons measuring part of maya so the bold blue or the learning opportunity for this day or this lifetime that's right for you because it's something that you have too. Ultimate pleasure cannot be achieved without perfect timing. Now, Lavina has a little bit of a, a funny business in this mind, a little dirty mind, in that it's talking about timing and we're talking about duality, purpose fulfilled through bonding. And yesterday I had a couple of sessions, a couple of clients, and one of them in one of the sessions the dynamic was about relational bonding and Ra did I don't know how many 600,000 or 600,000 6,000 or 10,000 um, readings when he made this quote in all of his readings he said everybody always wanted to know one thing and that was about the other so the relational dynamic with others so timing is everything when it comes to others are you going to engage with the other or not? Are you going to make love to the other or not? Are you going to talk to the other, speak with the other, move with the other or not? Timing is everything. So talking about timing, all time being here now, as in our experiential reality, this is about future. And if you look at the mind and the way that it's structured, the mind is two parts abstract or logic. So collective, two parts collective and one part knowing, and all we have access to truly is right here, right now. And if timing is everything, what about now? And yet, if you are one of those now creatures and your mind is being conditioned by the transit to go into future, the one side of the spectrum of today's transit and indeed this part of the week about logic and looking towards the future, but for today, if you have a moon in 63 or 4, here's what you're going to experience from the transit. The instinct to know the right moment and circumstances where pleasure is rewarded and not punished. In other words, the potential to recognize that there is a natural timing to the understanding process. Natural timing. This is about making the logical 
projection into the future. And it's always going to be based on the past. If we look at what we think of as our linear reality, every single one of us is subject to life unfolding as in you bore or you're born. And then there's something happening in the middle, your life, and then you die. So there's this natural progression in our lives of going through life with a beginning, a middle, and an end. All things come to an end. And timing is everything, especially if you have a first line, and especially on day like this. So on the flip side, I mean, there's so many applications of that. The joke, letting other people in on the joke, you know, the timing of the the actual, whatever it is, earth being in detriment here, timing is not a product of discipline. Exaggerated self-discipline leads to the abuse of pleasure and the potential to recognize, but the urge to force the timing, so to force things to happen or to push things to happen. Maybe you're impatient. You really want to make progress. There's a lot of energy in this in this uh, transit that's kind of pushing or forcing, wanting stuff to happen, and yet Pluto's over here limiting us, restricting us, making it feel like we can't get anywhere. Why am I so frustrated? I feel limited. I feel stuck. If you're like a lot of people, feeling limited, frustrated, stuck right now, don't worry. This too will pass. Wait till January. If you've got anything really big and challenging that you're experiencing right now and you're feeling um, maybe a little bit pressured to want to make something happen, especially on a day like today, my advice is to wait. Wait. Don't initiate. Unless, of course, you're an initiator and you find yourself just doing what you do because that's what's true for you. Okay. The grounding in today's transit, Earth in 49.1. So we're no longer in the abs or all logic collective circuitry. We're now over in the tribal nature of being. So grounded in the earth up there in the realm of initiation. And this is Kali. So revolution that has no support unless it's perceived as necessary is what you're learning about if you too have a 49.1. So this would be um, happy birthday to our crosses of explanation, one threes. And so the one side of the coin, Jupiter exalts the understanding and application of this law to maximize expansion of support and thereby ensure viability. In other words, awareness that the potential of a principle is based on it being accepted as viable. That's why this is the potential awareness or what principles and what's necessary and what revolution is going to have support, only those things that are perceived as necessary. Now, if you've got a sun here, on the flip side of this, two sides of the same coin, earth, grounding, stability, balance today is bringing us this potential misuse of influence to insist that necessity can be created out of action. So it's the helter-skelter syndrome. In other words, you commit acts of disorder as proof that disorder exists or oversensitivity to rejection that can turn a principle into a crusade. So this is, again, 70% of the energy frequency that's bombarding all of us right now from the sun. And a logic focus grounded in where the tribe is going to perceive revolution as necessary or not maybe potentially with an urge to force the timing again, remember. So there's a lot of stuff going on when I read this transit for the day, just to universalize and uh, have you go on with your day. There's a lot of stuff that's potentially feeling like um, a push pull syndrome inside of you potentially as you're experiencing this transit too. So if you're feeling like you might want to go get some therapy if you're wanting to find a better way forward logically, do remember you always have something intrinsically of value that you can rely upon to experiment with so that you eventually source inside of you so that you know what to do. Rather than continuing the mind's trip of trying to change the world outside of you, remember the present reality, this here now is actually what creates the past, which informs the future. The only thing that you have access to is here and now, this body, this vehicle, this form, as it's lived and expressed now. 
every moment, every breath that you take, come into this space of here and now. And if you are somebody who needs time to process things, you're going to need these processes or digestions of the experiential wave, you know, the tribal wave or the um, spike wave, the, the knowing or not wave. You're going to need some time to process a collection of nows in order to suss out what's right for you or to feel out or to um, move towards what is right. And when you're not doing anything, when it feels like boredom, 35 is gate of boredom. So we've got some um, stagnation, stuckness. We've got some potential for, you know, really wanting to do something. And then like, I want to get going and then nothing's happening. And if you're feeling limited and sad and depressed, this too shall pass. Deep breath, come into this space of here and now. And if you're having trouble with work, remember, um, there's this false delineation between what work is and what play is. Play is supposed to be that thing that you do for fun. And work's supposed to be work and it has to be hard and there's going to be suffering. I mean, those are two polarities. But what about the middle? What if your work was your play? What if this thing that you did was something that you could do all day? I'm a non-energy type, but an energy projector. And the thing that fascinates me the most studying the esoteric realms like human design, especially human design, because it gives us a lot of quote unquote answers. Now answers are not always truth because you can come up with, this is the gate of formalization, youthful folly. You can come up with all kinds of answers, but is it the right question? The right question brings us to the right answer. And the right answer is whatever is true inside, that truth inside of you. It's time to succeed for you, to be satisfied for you to be adventurous and to have the peace of doing whatever it is your freedom of action leads you to do because it's right for you, not because somebody else has got you in shackles or in chains. It's time for you to be surprised by what life offers you. And so in order to get into that spaciousness of awareness of truth, experimenting with your self, this body, this vehicle, this form, with you being your own authority. There is no authority outside of you that can tell you what to do. And it's time to end the addiction to someone else having the answer. If I go over there, maybe they'll have the answer. If I go and get this particular person to tell me what my chart says, maybe they'll give me the answer. No, you don't need that. This show, this movie, this dance of Maya, and this play, this illusion of separation, we are all one human collective and yet some of us are on the path of individuation so if you're an outsider or an outlier like me and you have the capability to source within in those challenging moments when there's so much amiss or things going astray too much chaos of the day this is fear of chaos okay what the thing the week is going to bring to you when people fear chaos what do they do they look to try to figure out the pattern or the logic of where things are going. So this is the biggest problem for the people who are abstract, especially thinking that, well, if only I do X, Y, and Z, I'm going to get that. If I add one plus one, it's going to make two. Actually, no, it's three. Uh, literally speaking, when you put two people together, you get a third thing. So do you love that third thing that relational thing that you have between you and the other if not maybe the timing isn't right maybe just take some space maybe just wait wait for the clarity if you're emotional and if you're not manifested don't initiate wait for the spaciousness for the unfolding to happen that moment that pulse of there and gone of knowing or not particularly if knowing is something inside of you that you can rely upon indeed to be true. Much love to you, my friends. Prepare for the week ahead if it's right for you to take advantage of the first line detail-oriented study day. And until next time I see you, namaste.